Hi guys. Um, as you can see, I'm in the airport. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to catch you guys up on some stuff. But before I do, welcome to my channel. My name is Tempest. If you are new here, Dose of Tempest here on YouTube. And if you are returning, hey boo hey. Okay, y'all. So yes, I'm in the airport and we are going to Atlanta. We're going to go to Atlanta for a little bit. We are on vacation. So we one more trip in before the end of the year. Anyway, y'all. Okay, first of all, I didn't pick y'all up ahead of time. And in my mind, I was going to do like um, a pack with me. Oh, wait. Okay, we're back because of the uh, overhead announcement. Okay, so first of all, y'all. So um, when I went to work on monday monday was crazy because i was trying to get a lot of stuff done um like around the house and work and i forgot what else i did monday that, that caused me not to pick y'all up but then on tuesday which was yesterday i worked like a side gig or whatnot and we were there 10 hours so 10 hours standing up majority of time plus drive time there and back y'all was done for but by the time i got home it was about 10 30 i had to pack because your girl did not pack at all um so i packed last night girl dead tired got a headache but i was pushing through and then i got up this morning and talked to my friend who i want to be in atlanta and i had to repack 26 29 degrees oh, y'all I'm a Texas girl through and through, and the cold weather, I'm not used to. So I had to pull out like some winter stuff or whatnot and kind of keep it cute, keep it basic and minimum because we're not checking a bag at all. So, yeah. In a way, before I let y'all go, so how about when I booked my flight or whatever, I was under the impression just because it's a Delta flight that is uh, I IAH, which is Bush Airport on the north side of Houston or outside of Houston or whatever. Now, why did I come and find out this flight is coming out of Hobby? Y'all, I was like headed that way this morning because uh, my sister dropped me off and something told me like to look to see like the drive time. I was trying to see if there's going to be traffic or whatever. And the GPS kept saying, um, you're 18 minutes. And I'm like, how am I 18 minutes away? Like that makes no sense. Y'all, I clicked on that. I went back on my flight information, which was kind of weird in a sense, but I looked at my flight information. I even Googled the flight and what airport it was coming out of because y'all, I just cannot believe this. Even when I got in the airport i'm walking through every lane says southwest so again i'm like how is this a delta flight like i think this is wrong but clearly they let me through right because of my boarding pass i come in i walk all the way down to the end all the way down to the end and believe you it's one flight delta wait i got one more question for y'all before i get on this flight so we're about to board in a few minutes but why i have like i need to go to the restroom it's for like a nervous pee Am I the only one who, like, have a nervous pee before they get on a flight? I know a little bit TMI, but I'm curious. Is it just me? Or does anybody else have, like, a nervous pee before they, like, get on a flight, perform, or go do something crazy? I, I, I need to know. I need to know. If this world were mine. This world were mine, I would place at your feet all that I own. You've been so good to me. If this world were mine, I'd give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. If this world were mine. Hey, y'all. We made it to Atlanta. We're currently in the hotel room right now. Y'all, this hotel is a boutique style and it's so freaking cute. So I wanted to just show y'all around. Let's look.
cute right oh um i love boutique hotels although it's kind of hit or miss so i like the updated versions of the boutique hotels because some of them look a little creepy like um too historic for me um anyway i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do right now i have not eaten the Day. So I do need to go get something to eat. We are near Punt's Market, but um, I think I'm gonna keep this on what I have on. Uh, what my friend does not know. So Elena, my big sis, who I went to go see in New York, she's in Atlanta. I, I'm meeting her here in Atlanta. Okay, so um. Two of her gifts for her birthday, I set us up for a facial and a massage. And after yesterday working a 10 hour shift, standing up and stuff like that, the massage is right on time. And then for my facial, I just love being pampered. I got like maybe one breakout. Yeah, I feel like one bump right here. And I think it's hormonal because it's like near my chin. But right now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Because like I said, I have not eaten yet at all. But I do need to, I need to edit like crazy. I'm trying to uh, challenge myself and post more vlogs. I'm trying to post more vlogs for the month of December. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Vlogmas yet. But if I do, it'll be like 12 days of Vlogmas. Like 12 days of Christmas. Eh, eh, eh. Y'all, time has slipped away from me yeah if y'all don't get that reference that's from uh casey and jojo singing anyway y'all i um i've been sitting here i think maybe an hour and a half didn't even realize that i've been editing this whole time did not get up to go eat at all and now i need to go towards well i'm gonna go still get something to eat like a little snack or whatever um but then i need to go towards the first place, my facial starts before um, my friend. So, ah! so, hair, just gonna have to say how, how it is today. Today is a real laid back day. I'll probably have my hoodie on later on tonight anyway. But I'm finna hurry up, grab something to eat, and then I have to go to the first spot because my facial starts before Alina's, aka my sister's. Um, it starts before hers. And I think I need to see what's the drive time there, but like I'm already like within the hour of having to be there. So, okay. Okay. Y'all, so I, oh man, I don't have my mic, but um, I decided to come to walk to Punts. Uh, market anyway, so I'm on my way right there. It's like it's literally like a block Maybe a block and a half So we're walking 
Y'all, Atlanta remind me of like Houston and Dallas. Like if Houston and Dallas had a baby, it would be Atlanta. And many, like it's so busy, the vibe is kind of similar in a sense. But Dallas has hills and valleys in a sense. So th that's, that's Atlanta. Anyway, I'm going to take y'all to Ponds with me. It's so much stuff on this street. Like this whole shopping center over here. Home Depot, Wells Fargo, GNC, um, Whole Foods, Staples, uh, a restaurant. It's so much stuff over there. There's a Starbucks right here. Quick and easy, y'all. Just got a slice of pizza because I think I'm going to be eating like 2.5 minutes again. So I'm going to eat this now and then head over to the place. Thank you. Let me go back to this mirror. Did y'all know Glossier has a store? <gasps> yes. So they have a store located in Atlanta. And I went in there, y'all. They treat me so well. Just look at this personalization. Make me feel special, queen. So anyway, I went to the store, so I wanted to show y'all what I got. First and foremost, I love how they gave me my product. Such good packaging. I did tell them that I was out of town, so they made sure that my stuff would not get ruined. Um, I bought the holiday collection. It was two of these. And then... Here is my other piece that I love. Okay, y'all. First of all, look at the bag. I A duster bag will get me every time. So, you see this Atlanta mini beauty bag. First of all, yet again, the packaging. So, as y'all can see, it is wrapped here. I have not opened it yet, but just for y'all, I'm going to open it. Ooh, so cute, right? I love it. It has a side pocket here and an opening. Surprise! You made to your first appointment! It's so silly. This world will mine.